Hello everybody, this is Andrea. I hope this video finds you well. Today I'm going to journal about the day we went late night sledding. So for this spread, I wanted to do a sort of midnight sky and I wanted to do like a space style, but then I thought, well, it's really not how the sky looks like here. And even if I don't want it to be literal, I at least want it to look a little bit more like it is. So I don't like to use straight black. So I'm mixing blue, orange, and purple. And I love this combination. I have been using this a lot. It creates a grayish color. And well, it can vary a little depending on how much blue or how much orange you put. But I really, really like uh, how it looks. It's not completely black. Of course, I will add a little black later, but it's nice to have a combination of colors and give some depth. So right now I'm going to cut some triangles that I want to use as trees because, well, there are many evergreens here and I thought this would be fun to just add pattern paper and use them as trees. And I'm trying to use the same paper that I have used in my journals before because this is one holiday that we made and I want it to be kind of cohesive. And uh, that thing that you see there, it's a moon. It says empanada moon, which I love because I love empanadas. And I found it in a magazine called Flow. So I really buy that magazine a lot and they have really nice style nice style and I really don't I don't read it very much because I only find the German issue and I don't like to read in German. But I love to cut some stuff out and I thought that would look very cool there. So now I'm adding some black and I know it looks horrible. It really looks like a disaster. But then it turned out to be very nice, well, in my opinion. And I think those are the best pages for me, the ones that you think, oh God, this is not going well. And then suddenly you keep adding things, you keep adding things, and then it suddenly transforms into something beautiful. And I really, really, they surprised me. And I know it will take a while for it to change and... I also made a big mistake that you will see a little later. But yeah, and I'm trying to show you there those fine tech watercolors, but the shine, it's very difficult to catch that on camera, but it's there anyway. In life, it looks much better. So those are my triangles. And what I'm doing is I'm trying to make like a snow mountain because that's where we threw ourselves with the sled. I don't know if you call it like that. I have never been sledding before in my life. Never, ever, ever, ever. I thought I was going to die. I did not like it at all. It was super fast, super steep. It was not for me. I was thinking all the time, sorry about my head there, but I was thinking all the time, where's the security net? Because it was like the slide and then there were trees and just a big hole where you could <laughs> fall so I did not like it my husband loved it and he also likes to go very fast I was really really afraid thinking all the time why didn't I bring a helmet so what I'm doing there is trying to draw a sled now in my mind this was going to look super nice but when it was there, I sort of did not like it. I think I should have done maybe the lines a little thicker, much thicker. So that's what I'm trying to do now, but it did not help. So I will finish drawing it and then you will see that I change it because I really did not like it. So I'm going to start putting my pictures now. I have very little pictures about this trip because, well, first... I only took pictures on the lift uh, up to the mountain, which I also did not like. <laughs> I had never been in that kind of lift and I didn't know how to jump out of it. So it was from the beginning, uh, I was afraid all the time, but it was anyway a nice and fun experience. So obviously when we were sledding, I did not take any pictures. I was so afraid that it's not that I was going to go with a selfie stick and say, Whoa! here we go no that's really not for me I like to take care so 
I'm putting my pictures there and just putting bits and pieces of that paper of the magazine because I just like to repeat the patterns. And I know that, for instance, I will put that, that where the snow is supposed to be, but really I don't care. I just like how it has splashes of that paper all over. So now it comes the fun part, the stickers. I cut them sometimes because they have like a huge border, which I usually like borders, but that was a little bit too much. And it's a blue sticker from a sticker book that I got the other day. I don't know. Okay, that's where I start changing things. So I decided finally to go all with black trees except for the green one because it was at night and I don't know, it was too colorful for me. And there I'm putting that sticker from the Happy Planner to cover my sled. And because it's transparent, I thought, okay, I will add some paper back there. But then I thought I should have put the paper on the notebook and then the sticker so it keeps some of the transparency. But anyway, it was done. I actually don't mind it. I would understand how some people would mind it, but I really don't care. It's just my journal, which I love, but I also like to experiment. So that's something very uncommon also. I forgot to put background paper on that picture. I always do it because I don't like the picture paper on the back. So I'm just using the same paper I'm using for the trees. I love it. It's also from that magazine Flow and just pasting my stuff a little bit better. Yeah, I just don't like to open the, um, how do you call it? The tipping and just find the um, photo paper. I think it looks, well, I don't know. I don't like it. So I'm trying to put a little bit of snow there to make it look like snow because it doesn't. But I think I got the effect. It's just very simple. I just took some watercolor pencil and did it like the simple way. And I don't know if you have noticed, but suddenly the sky doesn't it look pretty. I mean, with that moon there that, of course, I have not drawn it, but I think it looks, I don't know, I like it. It's like collage but not so much. And yeah, I'm very happy. So that what you see that it says 1st of January is something that I got also from Flow Magazine. In the December issue, they did like these phrases for every day of the year. So that one from January, I liked very much. So I'm just putting it there. And I wanted to use a little bit of craft paper because in my other journals, the ones before from that very same holiday, I have been using a lot of craft paper and I thought I will I would keep it more or less cohesive then I will change probably but I kind of like it I'm doing there some fake calligraphy because I cannot do it very well I think that tombow tombow yeah the tombow pens are a little bit too big so I like it smaller so but I think it looks good those are with micron pens and just finishing with a little bit more stickers and a border which I almost always do because I think it looks framed. I mean that's the that's the idea. But I don't know, it looks finished. Then some hearts and I will also add later some stars. And that's me writing about our holiday. I usually try to write in English but I keep changing to Spanish. I just that's how my brain works. It's my mother language, so I think I will always uh, do it in Spanish. So I'm doing there the stars, writing a little bit more. And it's amazing how with the writing, it totally makes sense. That's the feeling that I get when you finally put your words in the journal. And that's the last bit of writing. And that's how it looks. I hope you like it. I had a lot of fun doing it. And if you do, please give me a thumbs up up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.